Hi, I'm Rob. And I'm the captain. We're in Andertons. We are. And That's this is a guitar. This is a real short Boy, video you're just because I'm, I'm too excited about my new guitar not to tell you a little bit about it for five minutes. So um, this is uh, a Gibson... All he's been talking about for the last four hours. This is a Gibson Custom Shop... Um, 1958 reissue in lemon burst in Gibson's VOS finish. Um, I was lucky enough last year to see, to be talking to our sort of one of the Gibson guys that we deal with, uh, who explained one of the options that you had on uh, a 58. So actually, let's rewind a bit. Main, two main differences between the 58 and the 59 Les Paul. Uh -huh. One is the 58 has a slightly thicker neck than the 59, and that's what it's probably most known for. Secondly, is that to be sort of, you know, historically correct, switch that amp off for us, or whichever Sounds one's awesome. humming. Uh, to be historically correct, the 58 should have a plain top. How do you? I don't know, is there a button on the back of it or something? Yes. Yay! So to be historically correct, the 58 should be a plain top, and then the 59s are the sort of the highly figured flame tops. Now, being a bit of a sort of, you know, a Les Paul fan, I've always liked the, um, the flamey kind of Les Paul tops, but uh, I like the feel of the 58, uh, and I also like the fact that the 58s are quite a lot you know, cheaper, if you if to use an awful word with these, but uh, you know, quite a lot less money than the 59s. So, picture this, Gibson buy tons and tons of flame maple, and there's a, one lucky chap's job at Gibson is to say, mm, before they've cut it and stained it and everything like that, he'll look at it and go, do I think that that's flamey enough to be go on the 59 pile, or is it sort of a bit too plain, so I'll put it on the 58 pile. So when the 58s get made, you get actually a, a mix really of 58s, some with quite plain tops and some with some quite flamey tops, but just not quite flamey enough to be a 59. So Gibson uh, periodically do these things called hand-picked runs. So someone will go in and they'll go through the pile of what should be plain tops and they'll go, actually that's quite flamey, isn't it? And that's quite flamey. So we'll do a run of hand-picked ones. And this was, uh, there was a couple of these lemon burst ones that our Gibson rep bought round and said, you know, what do you, what do you think of this? Um, and I bought them for Andertons and, and obviously subsequently um, bought one for myself. Uh, and after buying this, I spoke to Gibson and said, look, I absolutely love this guitar. And I've, I've a couple of customers that I've shown it to absolutely love this as well. Uh -huh. And the pricing on the 58 is, you know, it's, it's so much more affordable than the 59. It's not massively more expensive than just buying a, a current, you know, Les Paul standard. Uh -huh. um, so I said, would you let me choose some? So they went, uh -huh. okay. So they sent me a, about, I don't know, 30 or 40 images of- um, That's cool uncut pieces of wood um, that were in the sort of the, the, the pile for to be used on 58 guitars. And I picked the, I think I picked about 10 or 11 um, of the tops that I thought were really, really pretty. And they've started to come through now and we've got some photography. So hopefully as I'm clicking my fingers, our lovely Rory man will be putting some images on the screen of the types of tops that we've currently got or that we're getting. And I know they've been selling. I know I know. in the last week we've done at least two of these. So I've said to Gibson, look, at the end of this month, you better send me another like 30 or 40 pictures and I'll, I'll choose some more. So the idea is that they're constantly coming through and we've got we've got them in all the different bursts. So they're, you know, lemon, but uh, this is this is a uh, uh, lemon burst. Is there's um, <coughs> there's uh, iced tea, there's honey burst, there's tobacco burst, there's heritage cherry burst. So again, just have a look. I said, Hopefully there'll just be a few pictures going up on the screen now whilst I'm talking. Um, Rob and I are just going to literally, well, I'm, I'm just going to get Rob to do a little bit and I'll do a little bit on this through this Marshall we've just done. But all I can say is if you're ever, you know, somewhere in the neck of the woods of, of Andertons, please come in because, you know, and try these. I've got a real thing about why it is I think that 90% of people perceive that they will prefer the slimmer 59 uh -huh. profile and I think that's because when you start to learn to play the guitar you pick up if you get the chance to try sort of you know fat necks and thin necks and things like that I think l beginners will migrate towards a sort of a thinner you know classic sort of Fender C shape or a Gibson sort of you know 60s profile slim neck and I think that stays with you that initial um, you know, first reaction that you have to those chubby necks stays with you for years. I, I remember trying a Jeff Beck strap when I was yeah. about 18 and going, can't play this, baseball bat, never gonna be able to play this guitar. And 
you know, 20 years later, uh, one of the strats I own is a, is a, is a 54 reissue strat, which yeah. has got a huge neck on it. <clears throat> and I'm like, I've, I've picked this guitar up, having not played it for years, and just gone, I'm really loving the, the fatter neck on yeah, it. Yeah, the massive tuning stability that you get from that kind yeah, of timber. I, I don't know what it is, but you, so, you know, far be it from me to sort of say, you know, you will like this. All I think I would say is if you tried a, a, a chubby neck when you were a more of a beginner player, um, and now you, perhaps you've been playing for five or six years or whatever or more, uh, just revisit, try it again. Because, I mean, certainly I, I actually kind of, my normal strat now, you know, the, the one with the blue man on it, mm. I kind of pick that up, old faithful, go back to that. And, I, and I'm like, There's no, where's the neck? I'm playing, <laughs> I'm playing like a Rizzler. Um, <laughs> uh, and goodness knows what I would feel like if I picked up a gem or something like that, you know, oh, like a great. wizard. Yeah, all oh, horses for courses, isn't it? So anyway, show the camera that top real quickly. This is my fifty-eight. Actually, do you know what? As well, as much as I absolutely adore this guitar, and it's become like a, you know, it's become like a, a just a, an additional limb for me recently. Um, the actual tops on some of the hand-picked ones that I've chosen more recently, I think, are actually better. Uh, so there are some. Why don't you just ones. like trade it in and get another one? No, because this is this is great. What did you name her? This is Lola. Oh, I know. Lola. That's that's tinged with sadness, but a very nice tinged thing. Tinged with say. sadness, but yes. Um, so I'll just play a little bit of clean, and then Rob will, you know, tear it up on a bit of clean. Anyway, you try it. Give. <clears throat> you pick? No, I got one. See, I I immediately noticed the difference in neck gauge because my Les Paul yes has a really wide but very thin neck yes, and so for me this is very different yeah but not unnice just different feeling I I was really. I enjoyed that video that we did where Rob and I bought a Les Paul each because I enjoyed that video, <laughs> uh, you know, because it just did go to show that, you know, Gibson's uh, departure from the traditional sort of neck profile for 2015 uh, has actually really appealed to a lot of players like Rob that perhaps traditionally well, I grew up on like Les Paul. Charvel's, Jackson's, Ibanez, yeah. you know, yeah. I, I like that kind of feel because yeah. it's the kind of thing. Like our, our initial sales <clears throat> of the 2015 Les Pauls are just as strong as the 2014 ones were. But it's a different guy. So yeah. it's, like, it's all the guys that last year went, oh, I don't really like Les Paul. They're going, oh, I really like this new Les Paul. And of course, all the guys who last year were going, I really like this Les Paul. They're going, oh, I don't really like this new Les Paul. Yeah. So, but you know, it's, I guess it's all horses for corn.
Should we get Rabir? Yeah. Rabir, do you want to have a noodle on my guitar? Yeah. Yeah. Be yeah, play something off the new album we're recording. Unfortunately, the guitar doesn't come with a rabia to play it for you. <laughs> Guys, my name's Rabia and I've teamed up with Musicism to teach you how to play guitar. So I've been playing guitar about 10 years. I'm the lead guitarist in the band Door J and I also have my own signature model guitar from Chapman Guitars. I have a degree in music performance from the Academy of Contemporary Music and what I've done here with Musicism is created a guitar course that I really wish I had when I started playing. So with this guitar course, I'm not just going to teach you scales and chords and techniques, but I'm also going to give you the knowledge to become a really awesome guitar player. Throughout the guitar course, we'll be putting together all the skills you've learned so far into some wicked guitar solos that I've written. They get more difficult as you go through, but don't worry, I'll be breaking them down piece by piece. We'll be starting from the ground up, so I'll be teaching you how to hold a guitar pick, to holding the guitar, vibrato and bending, all the way through to awesome guitar solos. By the end of this guitar course, you'll be flying around the fretboard in no time. So let me show you how it works. You'll be following lessons along the learning path that I've laid out for you. We'll learn the guitar step by step so you don't get lost. Once you've finished the lesson, you'll unlock practice exercises to really nail the skills you've learned. Track your progress in the practice journal so you know what to work on next time you sit down with the guitar. Earn badges as you practice. If you really want to challenge yourself, get them all. Because if you do, you'll be a really great guitar player. So what's stopping you? Click here to start learning guitar for free and I'll see you in the first lesson.